Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're back in the fish room today. I was hoping to be showing you my new eight foot tank, which I was planning on putting down here. Um, after my last video you saw, I had a great Facebook marketplace win where I got the, these tanks uh, for 10 pound. Absolutely fantastic. But for the last few videos, I've been going on about mega tank and what I might build or what I might make or what I might get. And I saw a fantastic deal on Facebook Marketplace for an eight foot by just shy of three foot. I think it was eight foot by two and a half foot, which would have been perfect. So if they've gone from that wall all the way up to about here, absolutely perfect. They left me enough, then, enough room to get into this tank, a uh, rack of tanks over here. We'd have a nice big tank here. Fantastic. Turns out it was only six foot long and the guy measured it wrong. But anyway, I've bought all the timber that I was going to use to make a stand for the eight foot tank. And I was kind of thinking along the lines of building my own tank anyway. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this stuff here and build the tank for the eight foot stand and talk about my plans of what kind of tank I'm going to build on top of it. So the first thing I need to think about is footprint really. What kind of footprint works well for the space and will work well for the fish that I want to keep in there. So, my initial thought was eight foot is going to the length because eight foot does take me up to if I can get the tape measure to work. So eight foot it takes us up to here, gives me enough space to comfortably get in here and tend to the tanks in the rack here. Um, next thought was, well, how far out do I want it to come? So this rack here is four foot. Initially, I was thinking I wanted it to come out kind of two and a half, maybe three foot. But that just kind of leaves a void here that's not big enough to put in another row of tanks. Um, and I feel that I might just end up wasting that space, so why not go big or go home? So I think I'm going to bring it out four feet, which is going to be kind of, well, in line with this basically. So if you think about this kind of space, um, the next one is height, what do I want? So I don't want it on the ground because I want an, I want the ability to siphon it if I want to do little smaller cleans and things like that. I don't want it to be above my head height because then I won't be able to get in and see things too much. I want to be able to both look through a window and view the inhabitants of the tank as well as look over the top and look down. Um, get in easily, um, all, all those kind of things. So I really don't want it coming above five foot. Um, so I'm thinking somewhere in the region of four and a half foot, five foot. But if we make it five foot, let's say, so where do we get to? Uh, oh, so five foot's here. I kind of want it a little bit down, maybe 140, so four and a half foot, something like that. But I need to think about how big I want the stand and how big I want the tank and how to divvy that up. So I think I want the stand two foot off the ground which then gives me enough room to run an 18 inch tall sump or something like that inside it, or a 16 inch sump. Um, and then still give me maybe between two and three feet of tank size. So that's kind of what I've got going around in my head at the moment. But I think if I concentrate on today's job of building a two foot tall aquarium stand, I think that'll get us moving. Using these dimensions it also helps me to use the timber that I've already got without a lot of cuts because they come in 8 foot lengths. So I've got some plywood that's in 8 foot lengths, I've got some of this timber that's in 8 foot lengths. I'll be able to just build the stand out of this then continue that with the tank itself. In terms of design, I'm not going to go into it in that detail, but basically just going to do a load of butt joints. The same as you've seen a hundred times over of people building stands. Um, There'll be a slight difference because the floor is on a bit of an incline. This is a, an old garage, so it slopes slightly out. So I'm going to have to do a few tweaks to take care of that. But basically, we're going to have one on the floor like this. Build a box, put some stands and upright, which will act as guides, and then cut more of these down to size to actually do the support, and then just put supports all the way around. I'm sure it'll all become clear as we start building. I hope it will for me anyway. I'm 
Okay, I'm part way through building the stand. I thought I'd take a little break and show you what I'm doing, give you a general gist. This isn't meant to be a tutorial on how to build a stand. There's hundreds of them out there. I'm kind of following along with the general plan that everyone uses. So, let's have a look. We've got basically the frames. So we've got eight foot, four foot, eight foot, four foot. I've done two of them, which is going to be the top and the bottom of the stand. So all the weight is going to rest on there. So if you see these guides here, that's just to hold up the top while I get everything else set in. And what we'll actually do is, so for instance, that there is the guide, but it's actually this piece here that's holding the weight of this stuff. So that, that doesn't really need to be there. Um, all it's doing is something to screw this into. So we'll have one of them there, one on the other side, and then do the same on each corner. Then I'm either going to do two in the middle to support the weight that way, or maybe just one. Uh, we'll see how we got on. And then I'm going to put some supports across here too, and then a plywood sheet on top to finish it off, just so it's nice and level for the finish. And that should be that. Okay, it's almost done. Um, I think all I'm going to do now is take a sheet of ply, a sheet of ply that you can't see here, uh, and lay that across the top. But before I do that, I thought I'd show you. It's it's pretty much done, so I've kind of committed to it now. <laughs> We've got eight foot that way, four foot this way. It's going to be a bit of a monster. I know this isn't big by some standards out there of true monster tanks. But for me, this is mega tank, uh, and I've committed to the footprint now. Now it's just a case of how high we're going to go. So the stand, I've gone with two feet high. Um, probably going to go another two and a half, three foot high for the actual tank. Um, it leaves me almost 18 inches to get things in underneath, so I might have a sump or something under here. Um, final position, not quite sure. I don't know whether to have the pipework exiting this side, that side, or that side. I'll probably do it down the back, just to get it out of the way, bring it forward another couple of inches, I've got space for that. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And so I'll stick the plywood on the top, have a jump around, make sure everything's secure and in place. Um, obviously, as you can see, I've braced up throughout. I think it's probably overkill, but I had the wood, I might as well used it gone through about 150 screws, um, a battery and a half on the drill. Um, yeah, it's not going anywhere. I think that's what you have to say whenever you build something, that's not going anywhere. And here it is with the plywood on. So I've used a 12 mil ply there, which is only because it doesn't need to be any more than that. Um, I'll be putting a plywood bottom on the bottom of the tank as well. So there'll be a, a double ply thickness there, which will be more than enough. But that just kind of finishes off the stand and gives it a little bit of rigidity. Not that it needed any more rigidity, it's solid as a rock, as they say. But I think that looks pretty good. So I think that about covers it for this one. If you like this kind of thing, make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, you can follow along with the build. That's the stand done. Next thing's the tank, and then we've got to waterproof, and then all the various other bits that we'll have to do. It's a bit of a beast. I like it. See you next time. Bye.